GCSE chemists, in my last video, we summarized the different reactions of acids, and I promised I would come back to make sure we were super confident with what we meant by the term salt. So here's an example. Acid and metal gives us a salt plus hydrogen. But again, what is a salt? Well, in the simplest terms, a salt is where we've got an acid, but we, we replace the hydrogen in the acid with a metal. OK, so for example, if we've got hydrochloric acid, which is HCl, then our salt is going to essentially have the hydrogen from the acid or the hydrogen from the acid replaced with whatever metal we reacted it with. So our salt would be a metal chloride. Right. So like M. Cl or maybe MCl2, depending on what group the metal is in. If we were to use sulfuric acid, H2SO4, well then our salt is going to be where the H or the H's in this case from the sulfuric acid are replaced with whichever metal we're using. So our salt would be a metal sulfate which would be maybe MSO4 or maybe M2SO4, depending on, again, what group the metal is in. We can, cut, we can speak more about these formulae um, again later on. But for now, hydrochloric acid, our salt is a metal chloride. Sulfuric acid, our salt is a metal sulfate. Have I given myself enough space for the final one? No, because I've been writing diagonally down the page, like I don't need to write anything else. But I think I'm going to still complete it. So if we were to use nitric acid, which is HNO3, then replacing the H in the nitric acid, our salt would be a metal nitrate of the form maybe MNO3 or MNO32. I have completely run out of space, okay? I've got a few examples of us actually constructing these equations, word equations and balance symbol equations on my page already. But if there are any of these in particular you really want me to go through, let me know in the comments and I will add that on my to-do list for videos to come. And make sure you're following for future GCSE chemistry support. Okay.